I'm Angela Paniscalsis Mortari, an associate professor here in pediatrics, and I study lung complications after transplant. I'm Andy Price. I'm an assistant scientist here at the U, and I work in Angela's lab. What we have accomplished is the development of um, the ideal system in which to study lung differentiation and the ideal scaffold on which to grow a bioengineered lung. What we did was removed all the cells from lungs, reinfused into them um, lung stem cells, and were able to get these cells to stick to the matrix, to this natural scaffold, and produce proteins that are normally found in the lungs. Before a cell has differentiated, it can go down many different pathways as to what it's going to become. Um, and what we want to do is coax it down the pathway to become a lung cell. So every year, thousands of people die waiting for a lung transplant. And in fact, uh, many people also die from lung transplants because in general, donor lungs are not matched to the recipient. And so it's a big source of chronic rejection, which is the major problem occurring after lung transplantation. And so ultimately, this work we envision may be able to supply a source of donor lungs for transplant that would not be rejected by the patient because they would be developed from their own stem cells. So Doris Taylor's lab demonstrated the recellularization of the decellularized heart. So they were able to infuse heart cells into a heart matrix that was depleted of all its cells and showed that those cells could then cause the heart to beat and in fact pump blood through. And uh, we'd been working on this for a little bit before her work was published and actually kind of based it on another um, investigator, uh, Dr. Engbar's work that he had done about 25 years ago here. and. Uh, so really it's kind of a culmination where the technology is now available where we can do this as a whole organ and, uh, and really expect some success with it. Being at the U University of Minnesota is ideal for our work because of all of the interdisciplinary interactions that go on here amongst all the investigators. For example, the Stem Cell Institute that provides us the stem cells that we use. Also, we will need the physiologists to help out with and out analyzing the lungs that are developed. We will also need the surgeons uh, for implantation and um, implementation of the system.